In a mud brick village in the desert of Niger, a mother nurses her newborn baby. Halima's child is sick and malnourished, but she lives in hope of giving her a better life than her own. Until she escaped six months ago, Halima was a slave. Her baby daughter, like her other three children, was born of rape by her master. Kudarani Niger is one of the world's most arid and poorest nations. A landlocked desert country north of Nigeria, it is home to 11 million people. Most of them nomads or farmers scratching a living from the parched soil. Hereditary slavery has long been an intrinsic part of its culture. The French colonial rulers tolerated the practice. The post-colonial dictators ignored it. It was only international pressure that finally persuaded the parliament to outlaw it in May 2003. But the abolition has not meant the end of slavery. Rather, it's given the government a premise to argue the problem no longer exists. Over the past nine days, we've travelled to some of the most remote parts of this country. And what we've found is that slavery is out of sight, but still very real. And a murky fight between those trying to free slaves and those trying to ignore them may have extinguished their best chance for freedom. Our journey began in the capital, Niamey the headquarters of the anti-slaving group Tamidria, meaning Brotherhood. Tamidria's leader, Wele Ilgilas, has long embarrassed the government with startling claims of continued slavery. Au contraire, on a tendance à les nier. The reason for the silence, he argues, is this. Niamey is preparing to host the Francophone Games, a mini Olympics for French speaking countries to be held in December. Beaucoup de pays qui devraient prendre part à OG de la francophonie, étant des démocrates sincères, étant des républiques vraiment démocratiques, n'accepterait pas de venir dans un pays où, jusqu'à aujourd'hui, il y a le phénomène de l'esclavage. To find out the truth for ourselves, we set off north across the desert to the district of Tawa, widely seen as a heartland of slavery. It's a vast region of mud brick villages and nomadic camps on the edge of the Sahara. The central government has long relied on the support of traditional chiefs here to enforce its edicts, chiefs who have traditionally owned slaves. Mustafa Kadi is the son of a powerful chief 
and a former slave owner. He is also a human rights activist. Nous avons décidé de libérer nos esclaves parce que nous estimons que l'heure a sonné. Euh, nous avons effectivement hérité des esclaves au moment où il n'y avait pas une abolition officielle de notre État, qui est le Niger. In December 2003, seven months after slavery was outlawed, he publicly freed the family slaves, five adults and two children who had been born into lifetime bondage. Donc, à un seul moment, il est bien indiqué que chaque Nigérien se lève et se dise qu'il faut arrêter l'esclavage. But having just outlawed slavery, the government denies that the practice continues. The Tawa governor, Ziti Maiga, who attended the liberation, now claims it was a stunt to discredit Nigeria. Et nous, après, quand nous avons mené des investigations, ces gens-là nous ont dit qu'on leur a contraint de venir au, cours, euh, au niveau de la réunion à la mairie de Tawa. Qui ont collecté ces informations pour venir dire à, à ceux qui sont venus avec elle, voilà, c'est des gens qui sont, subi, qui, qui sont esclaves au niveau de telle ou telle localité. Mais c'est archi faux. We found one of the men who took part in the ceremony still living in the village. Abdu confirmed that he had been raised as a slave. While the others left to build new lives, Abdu has chosen to remain here, continuing to groom the horses of the prince's father. Slavery in Niger has long been like a caste system, where dark-skinned members of certain tribes worked in unpaid servitude for lighter-skinned masters. It was not so much a trade as a brutal social hierarchy. Vous ne risquez pas de trouver un marché d'esclaves au Niger, non plus un esclave enchaîné, encore moins une transaction d'esclaves. Par contre, l'aspect qui est commun à la forme que nous vivons ici et celle de la traite négrière, c'est les humiliations, les stigmates, les étiquettes des personnes qui sont considérées comme des sous-hommes. The difficulty is proving how much of it still goes on. These days nobody will admit to owning slaves. The law carries a penalty of up to 30 years in jail. But how many continue to have slaves secretly and how many continue to live in bondage by a different name? We travelled further north to find some answers, guided by a Tamidria activist, Algami Samaluz. There are not even roads here between most of the villages. It is barren, unsentimental country where people do whatever they can to survive. In any case, there are a lot of esclaves among them. Even they feel this difficult difficulty, because when we say an elevator, La joie de l'éleveur repose sur les animaux. Si les animaux sont maigres, donc l'éleveur, le, 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 lui aussi, euh, n'est pas content. It didn't take us long to find people who identified themselves as slaves. The people here told us they all worked for masters in a nearby village. They were dark-skinned Tuaregs, the main ethnic group in Tawa. This woman, Hilete, said she had been born a slave, as had her two-year-old daughter, Zainabu.
All of them had heard of the law abolishing slavery, but with no money and no family outside the village, they saw no way to escape. But some have found the courage to flee. Azabit Wanagada told us she and her five children escaped from their master last year after a lifetime of rape and beatings. Her family now ekes a living from this wind-blown settlement helped by Timidria. <laughs> But not everyone to Midria took us to see agreed they lived in servitude. At a nearby watering hole, we saw dozens of people doing traditional slave tasks, tending animals and fetching wood and water. Amalus insisted the people here had told him they were slaves, but when we turned our camera on, they denied it. Oui, elle dit qu'elle c'est pour elle. Donc c'est ce qu'elle a dit. Mais avant, elle a dit c'est pour son maître. Mais après, maintenant, comme elle voit, elle dit que non, non, c'est pour, c'est pour elle. He tried again and got a different answer. Later they denied it again, saying they had never been enslaved. It was impossible to know if Tamidria was exaggerating their plight or if they were simply scared to speak freely. The sons of a reputed slave master stood near us, listening to their answers. It's difficult for Tamidria to see how many slaves are here. Yes, it's difficult because there are those who are slaves, but who don't want to say that they are slaves. Mais qui sont, mais quand même, si vous leur posez la question, ils vont vous dire que oui, ma mon ethnie, c'est l'ethnie des esclaves. Mais maintenant, je travaille pour moi-même. Mais c'est faux. Beaucoup ne travaillent pas pour eux-mêmes. Beaucoup travaillent pour des maîtres. C'est ça le problème. That problem has made it impossible for Timidria to prove its claim that there are 870,000 slaves. The London-based movement Anti-Slavery International puts a far more conservative figure, estimating there are at least 43,000 slaves. The central government's representative here, Ziti Maiga, says there are none. Donc c'est pour vous dire que, à ma connaissance, en tant que gouverneur de la région de Tawa, je suis à la tête de cette région pour bientôt six ans. Jamais il n'a été porté à ma connaissance qu'il y a de l'esclavagiste qui sévit au niveau de cette région. Mais nous avons rencontré beaucoup de personnes dans votre région qui ont dit qu'ils sont des esclaves. Non, mais si ils vous ont dit. Est-ce que ces gens-là n'ont pas été préparés psychologiquement Vous savez, Trimédia mène des actions, des sensibilisations, pour certainement avoir le financement extérieur. Nous ne savons pas. 
The government has long accused Tamidria of inventing claims of slavery to get money from international donors. In March, it stopped Tamidria holding a ceremony to release 7,000 slaves, claiming this letter from a traditional chief offering to free them was a forgery. I put a faux against all these allegations. I've never received one franc from anyone else to organize a such ceremony. At first glance, Niger appears to guarantee basic freedoms. Since military rule ended in 1999, the government has allowed opposition parties, civil rights groups and free trade unions. All can march on International Labor Day to call for workers' rights. But it's democracy with strict limits. Shortly before our visit, Prince Mustafa spent 10 days in prison for leading a protest against rising food prices. Two days before this rally, the authorities struck again, arresting Wayla Ilgilas over his stated plan to release 7,000 slaves. Wayla has been arrested because, tout simplement, we have compris that today the association Timidria gêne. L'association Timidria, elle fait beaucoup de mal pour le gouvernement. Et le gouvernement ne peut continuer à la laisser continuer son travail. Alors que le travail qu'il est en train de faire est un travail responsable, démocratique. Wayla was released six weeks later after a court found there were no grounds to hold him. Even so, his detention and the criminal charges he still faces have severely stymied Timidria's activities. Suggestions of fraud have given the government a means to discredit all Timidria's claims. But what we saw during our journey left us convinced that thousands continue to live as human baggage. Working for masters for nothing more than food their children destined to grow up in servitude. L'esclavage existe bel et bien. Mais c'est une attitude que seul le gouvernement a le secret. Nous, en tant que Nigériens, nous ne comprenons pas pourquoi le gouvernement résiste encore sur une question qui est concrète, qui est réelle. Les esclaves sont là, ils vivent avec nous. Au Niger, on ne doit détenir aucun esclave. Même un seul esclave, c'est de trop. As the Francophone games approach, Niger's government is stepping up its denials. Recently challenging outsiders to find a single slave market. It is a subtle but perhaps effective way to conceal its dark secret. The chains and markets may be gone, but in 21st century Africa, human beings are still being born as slaves. <laughs> <laughs>